There's some more of that Avon glassware. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. That sounds pretty good. Oh, dang it. I just jinxed myself. And I gotta go through it. Dang it. There's something else in here. It looks like a toy box. Though. Look at that. Okay. I think this is a jewelry box. What? Oh, look at this. Paul Hudson Jewelers. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought a huge 10 by 20 locker for just 250 bucks. It looked dusty, it looked cobwebby, it looked old, and I liked it. I've been pulling out decent vintage items, which is always exciting, but mostly we're finding holiday decorations. We went to the flea market and sold some goods. Now straight to the locker to keep digging. Okay, I'm feeling a little like where do I even begin because I can't take that much more with me today. But I did want to make some progress here. Tomorrow when I come back, my first priority is going to be go through everything, get a dump load. More stinking junk now. <laughs> this is not junk mail. It's all sewing stuff. Sewing stuff. Yes, what's that? Ah, books. Okay. HP monitor. There's an HP computer in here, keyboard, the whole shebang. This appears to be a couple extra hard drives. Alright, I just peeked in here and this looks interesting, so let's definitely have a look at what's in here. This stuff is all lower end. It's a brand new tablecloth. That's good. Some table mats, placemats. Ooh, okay. There's some more of that Avon glassware. Good. Candle. It's a bunch of napkins right here. Ooh, they're boxes. Ooh, that's a jewelry box right there. No jewelry in it though. But can you guys see what I see right here? There's a little metal box right there. It looks interesting. Okay. Oh, it's little. Okay. Oh. Ah. How about your film? Okay. I got excited about the box. Actually, I thought it was metal. This is not metal. This is like a... I don't know. Is that like... Some of that older plastic, what's it called, bake light or something? The box is very cool. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh. That sounds pretty good. Oh, yes, guys, look at that. Look at that. Candy out of there. Okay, that's pretty good. Cookbook. A lot of cookbooks. Okay, photos. Get that back to the owner. Look at this. It's that old. And there. All right. Let me go through a couple more boxes here. This is fall. And tomorrow's Halloween, so <laughs> these aren't getting the market in town. Kind of cool, though. Shoot, too bad I didn't grab these to go out today. I would have been able to sell them for sure. Candle holder, see that? Pretty nice. Yeah, birdhouse, that's cool. It's good stuff in our con. It's 4th of July type stuff. Little nutcracker. This Coleman capstone oven. Right. Make cakes. 
or pies. It's like a fold up box that you put on top of your stove and it works as an oven. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah. Sweet shop. A little more home decor. Oh, I got of this. I had one of these. My goodness, it looked like the same one. I wound up selling it for five bucks. Not that long ago. I drug it around to so many markets. Those are nice. Oh, okay, good. More Christmas stuff. The candle set, that's good. Right. Halloween lanterns, though. That's not good. Halloween's tomorrow. Dang it. This is the uh, 4th of July type stuff. Three votive candles. American flags, that's good. Okay, what are these? Ghost string lights. And a Halloween tree. See that? Halloween tree. This kind of stuff's good right here. This is a couple bucks, five bucks maybe. At least four. Here's another one. Here's more. Little snow globes. Four or five bucks. Another one. All this JC Penny stuff. Oh, we got a good looking Santa Claus right here. Look at this. He's sitting on a tricycle. <laughs> That's a ten dollar Santa Claus right here. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's probably six bucks right there. Okay. Oh, more Halloween stuff. So we got a couple of these guys that light up, put candles in them. And I don't know what this is. Monster Mash book? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I'll tell you what, my kids will love this stuff. I'll bring it home to them, let them play with it. All right, let's see what's in here. I closed that. It was open before I closed it, just because I was getting through here. And yeah, these are kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Huh? Wow, look at that. These are neat. The Rhino's Horn Lodge in Nairobi. It's like a coaster or a tile of some sort. These are actually pretty good. And then here we got a bunch of little candle holders. Little birdie thingies. Chip, chip. Chippy, chip, chip, chip. Chippy, chip, chip, chip. <laughs> I think she bought, I think what happened is she worked at JCPenney's and when they put stuff on like clearance, she couldn't help herself. She had to buy it. She probably got an employee discount. She probably got it so cheap. She just started buying stuff. Stuff that she didn't need. Right after Christmas. Probably right after Christmas. She was getting all the decorations for heck of cheap. And then she's like, I got a great idea. Let me buy a bunch of stuff I don't need. And then rent a storage to put it all in. So I can spend like $3,000 a year on a storage unit. So I can save... 20 bucks on some of these decorations. Yeah, okay. it's this kind of stuff. I don't really like going through this stuff. It takes too long. Um, but if there's some of that red... Oh, dang it. I just jinxed myself. And I gotta go through it. Dang it. Okay, but not right here. I'll bring this home. I'll go through it. I gotta try to get all that red glassware together. She must have sold Avon or something because she has so much of that red glassware. I'm thinking she got it for a... <laughs> a couple candlesticks held together by a really melted candle. And there's a cop. Ooh, that's a nice little copper pan. You see that? Huh. Okay, let's put that aside. Take a closer look at that. What is all this stuff? Though? 
is this? Okay, wow. Pretty fancy to get it. Goes on the wall. Holds the holds the candles. There's a couple pieces here. You call those wall sconces? I don't know. on there pretty dang good. Oh, okay, let's do it. For the dollar I'm probably gonna sell it for, someone else can deal with that. This one though, ooh, I do like this. Okay, I've had a little pan like this before. I don't see any maker mark on here. It's gotta be on here somewhere. No, it's here. What does that say? Can you see that right there? It says something. And I had one of these before as a little thing just like this and it was made in france and it was old and i think i sold it for 60 or 70 bucks on ebay so you got to check those things the rest of it go to the market i'm really waiting to find the like really high valued amazing stuff but you know like really i'm, I'm going to find like the jewelry box or something like really collectible really expensive you know, like the Vincent Camel Locker. We had a lot of garbage, but we found a few items that really knocked our socks off. Okay. Some books here. Pampered Chef cookie cutters. Pampered Chef Deluxe Muffin, Mini Muffin Pan. Pampered Chef, that's good, right? Gingerbread House? It is a mold stoneware. Huh. That could be something a little more valuable. I don't know. Stoneware. Pampered Chef stoneware. Ooh, Jana might like that. I'm gonna bring this to show her. Okay, we got this thing, Stepping Santa. It's pretty cool. It's a little village, ceramic village. That is cool. This one has a price tag on it. I bet you this wasn't cheap. Oh, yeah. right here, 120 bucks brand new. Got another wreath right here. We're selling these for five bucks today. Okay, a little angel. Oh, a tree topper. That's cool. I'm not gonna take him out, but you can see him right here. He's a Santa Claus. Another one. Another guy that stands up. This isn't got probably another eight to ten bucks. Okay, ten bucks. Christmas decor. We got some big guys in here, and those big figurines they really do sell. You guys like this right here. These guys, the bigger the better. They sell. People like buying big, big guys. Although today we had a we had a scarecrow today. Didn't get ten bucks on him, and I did not want to give him away cheap, so I took him. He's in the car. He's coming home. And there he is, Scarecrow on our porch. Can't get 10 bucks for him, I'm not selling him. He's just too cool. And uh, you know, we got the little pumpkins here. Looks a little decorative up here, but he is, he's fun. He is fun, and he looks like he's new. Colors are all bright and everything, so the girls love him. Well, the girls meaning Grace and Camille. Jana, not so much. She's not too fond of him. She won't let me plug him in and make his eyes light up, but I think he's cool just like he is. This looks interesting, but I think I know what it is. Do you guys have an idea about what this might be right here? It's not light. I'll give you a hint. It's not light. Bowl and ball. Yep, shoes, the whole, the whole thing right here. It's old too. All right, guys, we got through everything. Not really anything else that interesting. It was either garbage or Christmas or sewing. That was it. But we did have this box I had mentioned earlier we put aside. Because I peeked in there. I saw some interesting, a little bit more interesting stuff. So right here we have a, what looks to be an old cookbook, yeah? It's an old book. We found a lot of books in here, but not, not really that many old ones. 1920. 1920 right there. Hmm. The cover of this book is washable. <laughs> That's really neat. It's a big fabric. 
Huh. Hall China. That's Halls. See that? Halls is collectible, right? We found that nice Hall set recently. All right, what's this? Queens. Fine Bone China, England. Prairie Rose. We should probably look that up. So there's just tons of teacups in here. What's this? <laughs> Looks like a jewelry box. It's a alarm clock. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's something else in here that looks like a jewelry box. Though. Look at that. Okay. I think this is a jewelry box. Made in Italy. What does that say? Puj? P-E-U-G-E? -E? Well, dang. There's no jewelry in here. But there is the key. That's really good. That's nice, isn't it? It's in really good condition, too. That's something a little better, isn't it? All right, guys. Well, I cleared. This was all boxes right here. And all boxes under here. Went through it. There's some books down there. But cleared out all that and all this up here. So I'd say that we made some progress. Plus, I'm going to take some pictures of this thing right here and try to get that listed. It's like sewing table, hobby bench, something. I don't know. Try to have somebody come and get it for free. But I'll show you one thing that I think is interesting. I saw these old boxes back here. And now I'm seeing the dates on them. I'm thinking, okay, more boxes of receipts. But what's that right there? Ooh, that looks like a trunk, yo. That's a trunk. That's a cedar chest. Trunk. Lockbox, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that we're going to save for next time. Because I'm just wrapping up. Got a good one. Okay, guys. Day after Halloween. Back at this unit. The plan was to get a uh, nice load for the dump. And this is mostly files, garbage. It, there's not really that much garbage here, but there's a lot of files. Um, but of course, also, I wanted to continue digging through here and see what else I could pull out, um, either to bring home and look up or just organize and get ready for one more load, hopefully one more load. All right, so just kind of sorting stuff out here. I'm going to keep that shelf. Maybe mentioned that before. The ladder should bring good money. Look at this. This is a nice big tree, seven and a half foot, pre lit, press caught pine. That is probably a couple hundred bucks uh, new. I think our tree is about that size. We got it from Costco, and it was like 350 bucks on sale. But that was over here. So I'm digging out this side. I moved over the pegboard, which is kind of nice. Um, and then I saw another big tabletop here. I think that sewing station actually is twice as large. Uh, I think this connects to it. So pretty cool. I marked that for free. No one's come and picked it up yet. But look what we got right here. So we got this pattern boxes. We kind of spotted that before, but look at that right here, you guys. That's a metal box. I don't think it's a lock box, but maybe it is. I'm going to dig that out next. I just want to show you. Went through all this back here that was all files, but this... <sighs> I don't know. I don't feel anything shifting around in there, but it's not super heavy, but it's not super light. It might just be the weight of the chest, but there may also be something in there. I guess you could say that was a lock box, since you could put a lock on it. Uh, there's a couple of files. A couple of files and a little bit more junk mail. Right, yeah. Alright, nice little box of. Oh, look at this, guys. Move that one. What's that right there? That's another one. There's another metal box. Okay. This one's kind of full. I mean, this one's kind of heavy. Ugh. Little files of. Jeez. I'm really hoping for something a little better. Something good in the uh, metal boxes, but no such luck. All right. I got to get through here, get all this stuff on the truck so I can get over to the dump and uh, light my load. I'm going to shut the camera off because this does not make for good entertainment. I promise. I did think of one more place to check. I looked in these drawers. I know there's stuff in here, but we haven't really gone through them. So how about we go through that right now? Put this stuff up here. Singer. Ooh. 
What? Oh, look at this. Paul Hudson Jewelers, San Jose. It feels empty. It feels empty. Some thread and stickers. Okay, so let's see. Ah, empty. Jewelry box. Okay. And this. Uh, okay, now this singer. This is a little heavy. Button holder. Button holder. I bet you this is an attachment for a sewing machine, a singer sewing machine. Put that on to make buttonholes, I guess. Oh boy, here's a whole bunch of buttons and threads and bands and oh boy, oh boy. That's a ton of stuff. Okay. More sewing stuff here. Get seats in this one. This is like a junk drawer here. Some more doodads in there. I'm sure all this stuff adds up. Pattern cams. Hmm. Monogrammer and templates. This is some parts for some. I would assume some kind of sewing Kenmore, huh? For an embroiderer machine, maybe? Accessories and button holder. Jeez, okay. There might be some value here. This stuff might be, that might be worth something. All right, there it is. There is a full load going to the dump. Not too bad, right? That for a whole 10 by 20, that's the only dump load. Everything else is sellable. There's still a lot of stuff in there, huh? It's a good locker though. Uh, it's decent. All right, we've, we're down to it. We've been through pretty much everything in the locker except for the hope chest. Now we got to sell it all. All right, you'll see that in the next episode. We will sell pretty much everything except for the nicer stuff that we put aside. I still got to take a closer look at that, sort out all the red uh, glassware. There's still some work to do and go through that hope chest. We'll do that on the next episode. We'll bring this to a close, tell you how much we sold, what items sold, how much. I know you guys love that kind of stuff. In the meantime, if you would, hit me the thumbs up, all right? Show me that you like seeing what we do, going through these lockers, snooping, poking, discovering. It's fun. I hope you guys have fun doing it with us. And if you haven't yet subscribed, all right? We are almost at 30,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? All right, so we went through this locker over the holiday called Halloween. And in spirit of that, I just wanted to show you the mask I found last year. I wore this on Halloween. I wore it again this year on Halloween. Only for a few minutes though because my 13 year old got very embarrassed. But I hope you guys all had a great Halloween and uh, thanks again for watching. Next video come out soon. We'll wrap up this locker and uh, until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on 